Mudslides on January 9 ravaged Montecito, destroying at least 65 homes and damaging more than 460 others. The Associated Press Montecito, Kalof, parishioners prayed on Sunday for those killed and for families still searching for missing relatives in a Southern California community ravaged by mudslides, and authorities announced another body had been found, increasing the death toll to 20. The body of 30-year-old Pinit Sutlidhapa was discovered Saturday afternoon. His two-year-old daughter, Lydia, remained missing. His six-year-old son, Piruat, nicknamed Pasta, and his 79-year-old father-in-law, Richard Loring Taylor, also were killed in the mudslides. The list of those still missing in the mudslides has shrunk to four. Because most churches in Montecito are in an evacuation area, many worshippers attended services in nearby towns. At a church in Santa Barbara, they carried flowers, lit candles and prayed for the families who have lost loved ones. The victims were their friends and neighbors, they said. Our whole community is devastated, Hannah Miller said at the Trinity Episcopal Church. There isn't anyone who doesn't know someone who has been affected by this disaster. It is truly awful. We can just pray they find those poor missing people. In the disaster area, firefighters went door to door to check the structural stability of the houses damaged by a powerful rainstorm that preceded the mudslides and scoured what's left of toppled homes and mangled cars as they searched for the missing. The storm sent flash floods cascading through mountain slopes that were burned bare by a huge wildfire in December. Workers used backhoes, jackhammers and chainsaws to clear away masses of mud, boulders and toppled trees. Crews have made it a priority to clear out debris basins and creek canals before another rainstorm. Long-range forecasts gave the crews about a week before the next chance of rain, and potential new mudslides, although the precipitation was expected to be disorganized and light. Another system was possible two days later. If we don't get those debris basins cleaned out, then we're not going to be prepared for the storm and we don't know what that storm is going to look like, said Robert Lewin, Santa Barbara County's emergency management director. The mudslides on January 9 ravaged the Tony community, destroying at least 65 homes and damaging more than 460 others, officials said. The rest of the community's infrastructure also was damaged. Some streets were cracked in half, and authorities closed bridges and overpasses because they were unstable. The US 101 freeway and many roads remained closed indefinitely. A candlelight vigil for the victims and an interfaith service were planned for Sunday evening at the Santa Barbara County Courthouse Sunken Garden. More than 2,000 searches and recovery workers have remained in the community, carrying out back-breaking work in the summer-like weather that has made the stretch of Santa Barbara County coast about 90 miles 145 kilometers northwest of Los Angeles a haven for the wealthy, celebrities and tourists. Much of the community of about 9,000 residents remained under mandatory evacuation orders, even unscathed areas, as crews removed debris and worked to restore water, sanitation, power and gas. There was no timeline for allowing residents to return, Assemblywoman Monique Lamont said. Lamont, a Democrat, said SHES working with other legislators to address concerns about flood and fire insurance and issues with emergency cell phone alerts.